everybody. Today I'm talking about November planetary news. Uh, so we do have a lunar eclipse. We have uh, three conjunctions with Ketu, uh, two planets combust, and it uh, sounds pretty uh, challenging for uh, November, but soon things will start separating and things will start getting easier for all of us. Uh, so uh, it uh, is uh, caution at the beginning and then slowly things get uh, much better. Let us explore. Hello, I'm Carmela Sutton and we are talking November planetary news. Do remember to subscribe, press the bell notification. So what is happening in November 2022? We do start uh, the month with uh, a lot of unsettled energy. Mars has just gone retrograde and uh, planets are uh, hitting Ketu. Uh, first, uh, Venus conjoins with uh, Ketu on 2nd of uh, uh, November, and so that impacts Taurus and Libra, uh, Lagna or Moon sign. Then uh, Sun conjoins with uh, Ketu on uh, 4th, 5th of uh, uh, November, and so that's not so good for uh, Leo, Lagnas, and Moon. And then uh, Mercury conjoins with Ketu on uh, same 4th, 5th of uh, 6th uh, November. And that's Virgo and uh, Gemini that get affected by it. But I think that when you're seeing one after the other uh, <clears throat> planets conjoin with Ketu, and then 8th of November is the lunar eclipse. I've made a separate video for all these aspects Lunar eclipse tends to give results instantly and the lunar eclipse is in Aries and Aries Libra axis is being really shaken up. Although particular signs get affected, actually all of us feel the pressure because uh, these uh, uh, signs and uh, planets are ruling particular houses in our chart. So therefore, when there's a Ketu conjunction, that particular house gets impacted for you. And the eclipses also are happening in particular signs. And I have already made videos for all the other aspects. So you can watch the companion videos, so to say. Now, so what is happening is that up to 8th of November, there are many challenges and obstacles. And 8th of November is an eclipse. And here in USA, we have the elections, but there are other uh, places also where there are changes taking place. So, you know, we have to uh, be wise, we have to be calm, and we have to be collected during this time so that uh, we are not uh, making things worse for ourselves. That's what all we can do. You know, we don't want things to get so out of control during this time. But the good news is that once all this drama of the planet takes place, things calm down. And uh, sun goes out of uh, debilitation uh, on uh, 16th of November. The other planets all move away from uh, Ketu, so they're no longer being impacted by Ketu. Uh, going their merry way, doing what they usually do, uh, you know, and Mars is going out of Gemini back to Taurus. And uh, then on 23rd, Jupiter goes direct as well. So we can't say that this uh, month is totally simple and straightforward, but it isn't as turbulent at, as the month unfolds. So it's the beginning time uh, that we be aware of and then things will get easier. And then 23rd of November when Jupiter goes direct, it's just that day to watch out for, you know, that it's not Jupiter is a benefic planet. If he's stationing over your planet, that's also good. And his going direct means that he has accumulated a lot of good stuff to give later on. Uh, so as we move into December, 
we are moving into a much less uh, turbulent uh, time of the planets. And uh, one thing to remember is that that's what the planets do. They are called uh, uh, grahas. They grasp you, they hold on to you, and the transit is all gochara. That means they're always moving. They're always doing something. And we are watching it. And when they are being more turbulent, we are being uh, careful. Then when things get easier, then we are more able to um, make good decisions. So that is it for today. Do remember to subscribe. Thank you very much.